Hey there players, how's it going? Tim here. Today I thought I'd check out this game called Oceanhorn. This game's been out on Xbox for about a month. It's been out on Steam for a while. I think it's coming to Nintendo Switch and it's probably on PlayStation 4. Now you get to play the first part of this game for free. Looks like a kind of Zelda-y kind of game. Looks really cool. So let's check it out, see what it's like. Let's play Oceanhorn, y'all. Corn Fox and Bro. So I really dig Zelda style games and unfortunately I can't really make videos of Zelda on Nintendo Switch just because Nintendo copyright that shit and don't let you make videos unless you're in cahoots with them which is a bit dodge and then they, yeah they roll ya. So I think it's like got a bit of an isometric view. Graphics aren't quite as full on as the Zelda game, but they seem a fair bit sharper. I guess that's because I'm playing it on Xbox. Come on, little ocean horn dude. Wake up. What's all this then? Oh, that's the necklace. It's running away. It's gone into a cave. All right, so we're, in, we're on Hermit's Island. This is sea, Sun Sun Cliff. All right, you can view controls there. No, I'll just figure it out. So it's a pretty old school kind of style of um, layout and level, but it seems really cool. Oh, we've got a big stick we can bash things with. And we can collect coins a la Mario. Oh, we've got a little speed boost thing. I don't know if we can jump though, I think we need stairs to go up high. The only way is down. Any map may reveal secrets. Show us then. We smash stuff. Oh, I can't smash barrels. Dog. Who's this keeper? Did you sleep well, kid? Do you still have the same nightmare? Your father often visited this island on his travels when he was younger. Did he? I thought we... Oh, maybe we've travelled to the island? I'm confused now. This is a checkpoint from the Arcadian. This checkpoint will magically spawn next if something bad happens to you. Checkpoints can be found all over the world. Yep, that's what checkpoints usually do. Oh, it's smashed up. Well, you can't smash bottles. This is a crap stick. Hearts. We got four love hearts. That's a bit zelda-y. Kind of annoying you how you can't jump. Or oh, maybe I haven't found the jump button yet. Give me something. Yeah, I got one of those things. Oh, you can pick up bottles. Okay, so I think the necklace went into here. Oh, we're in the caves now. So this is giving me a big Zelda vibe. Coins, hearts and other items are hidden. There we go. And smash flowers. So it looks like we need a key to get through that room. Can we pick up these and chuck them and break them? Pretty effective weapon. Kill an enemy with a jar. Ceramic killer. Bonuses. Push objects with the A button. Alright, looks like there's a button here. We might want to push this box into a weapon. Yeah, we've opened up a little bit. Those things don't smash quite as easily. Is there a key? Yes, there's a key. You got a regular key. Alright, let's go back to that big door, see what's inside. 
So pretty cool how you can play the first part of this game without paying, see if you like it. It seems really sweet. I think this game's even available on phone. Alright, can we get off this button? Yes, we can. Do a bit of weed whacking. up if you want to smash them. Ooh. The effect of taking out enemies. Looks like we might have to spin on this one. This is a reset button that magically returns. Ah, so... Okay, maybe if we stuff this puzzle up we can reset stuff. buttons of lights. You can pick up many kinds of things. Maybe this rock. Sweet. I think we got it. We might need another rock for the other one. So really uh, good, easy to learn controls. Don't really need to do the tutorial, it's all pretty straightforward kind of stuff. But pretty cool little puzzles. You got back your mother's necklace, it seems like no ordinary pendant. You got another treasure chest. Oh yeah, Swordy Luigi. You found your father's sword and shield. What would have been nice if you just left that for us? Level 2, Traveller. You earned a new adventure level. Level up, press menu. You're a traveler, you got health, refill, and 10 coins. Right, how do we flip? Oh, we just hit with a sword and we've opened up another area. Nice. I've got a feeling this is going to take us back out, and it did. better than the stick. I wonder if we can smash jobs with it. Jeez, we can't smash jobs with our sword, this is a good thing. Hey, I've already been in here. Found your father's sword and shield. How did you get your hands on them? You were supposed to have them later. What? Your mother's necklace started to glow. How could I be so stupid? This is one of the symbols of ancient Arcadia. Follow me. I have a story to tell you. A long time ago, these islands were the mighty kingdom of Arcadia. The Age of Enlightenment led Arcadians to outstanding scientific discoveries. Engineering and magic ran deep in their blood. A foul war began as Dark Lord Mesmeroth, who had once been a promising candidate for an Archmage, led dire folk armies to a war against Arcadia. With the aid of his dark magic and the dire folk, Mesmeroth dug deep into the ground. Cool story, Grant. Get on with it. Something that should have stayed in the depths of the earth. Triloth, a mass of dark energy, 
left over from the creation of the world. Black boats arrived to the gates of Arcadia, carrying the dark energy Triloth. Soon the light from the world and from the hearts of men faded. The once flourishing society disappeared into the darkness. After the catastrophe, three sea monsters appeared. One of them was Ocean Horn. Oh, it is a vile creature, born under the dark burning light of Triloth. Although all of these monsters were powerful, only one has survived up to this day. Oh, it is getting late, kid. Return to me in the morning. All right, looks like we've done our first day of action. What do we do, crash here? Was this your bed, James? Creatures just as your father feared. Monsters and evil forces have disturbed the balance of the world. Your destiny is tied to Ocean Hall. Just like your father's, it's no use to hide any longer. Old scriptures tell about sacred emblems, relics that hold the power of gods. Their purpose was to maintain the balance of the world, but they lost their power in the catastrophe at the same time as Ocean Hall appeared. I believe that was no coincidence. To unravel the mystery of Ocean Horn, you must find out what happened to the sacred emblems. Here is what I know of them. The emblem of Earth that belongs to the Auru people is hidden in the Perta Desert that was once a vast and beautiful forest. Most of its beauty withered along with the Aurus, wise and fearless bird people. So there's the plot of the different worlds that we're going to have to explore. The emblem of ocean belongs to Gilfolk, the people living in the waters of the world. Emblem of ocean is a relic of their it's long the past glory and former power. Kind of like one of those elders. The emblem of sun was the pride of Arcadia, a symbol of hope and determination for our kind. I will tell you more about it later. It is time to begin your journey. Seek the sacred emblems. This is the only way to get to Oceanhorn and find out what happened to your father. So pretty 
cool little game really. I'm not sure how much they're charging for it, but if it's a budget price game, I reckon it's definitely worth having a look at, look at it. If you like the look of it, yeah, totally check it out. Oh, here's our boat. Yeah, baby. Wicked. We've got a seashell that can help us. So that's the end of the demo, but I think it looks pretty cool. And uh, yeah, I was hoping I'd get a little bit more than that. But if, if you like this video and you want to see more, let me know. Maybe I'll get the full version. Or if there's any other games you'd like to see me check out, just let me know in the comments. Hopefully I hear for you, hear from you. Thanks for watching. Catch you later, peeps. Bye.